my video for November the 29th, 2018, video number 2,800 or 922 is entitled The Birth Certificate Scam Lost at Sea. Although I have not looked at them in many years, I know that somewhere in all my files, I have my actual birth certificate and another one issued by the state of New York. Like both my brothers and sisters, like both my brothers and the first two of my sisters, I was born in the Good Samaritan Hospital in Suffern, New York. The last sister was born in another hospital, also in New York State. Only one of us ever actually lived in New York. We lived just south of the border in Bergen County, New Jersey. Anyway, as I recall, the first certificate in longhand writing was a certificate of live birth. The other one is the creation of the fake state's straw man, claiming I was lost at sea. <laughs> Here I am over 72 years later, and I was never lost at sea. This is just a phase of the huge scam that has gone on for a very long time, perpetrated and perpetuated by demonic criminals committing fraud, not just on me, but on the human race. There have been many whistleblowers who have gone into great detail about this travesty. I keep coming back to one pressing question. When will the truth become well known enough to actually secure our freedom? Promises of change amount to nothing. Will anyone take responsibility? Until and unless we are awakened and empowered, all we can do is hope, pray, and wait. And indeed, I keep waiting. I just had an exchange this morning, and it's now just, just past 5 a.m., uh, 5.02. <laughs> and my video, uh, previous video, just went live at 4.30. And I'm already working on the next one. But anyway, I had an exchange with my friend, Mr. Ed, who first told me about the RV. and. He, I said to him, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and he sends me a little blurb with his fingers in his ears. I can't hear you. In other words, I don't want to listen to you. And I even sent him a link to my video that is the current one for today. Of course, this is one is, that I'm recording now. Again, is for tomorrow. I always record them a day ahead of time. Anyway, folks, we have been fed promises all of our lives. I grew up believing that I was here to help usher in the kingdom of heaven on earth. I, I was a teenager when I was talking about this. I was not, actually, the Teenagers doesn't begin till you're 13, right? But I was talking about this when I was 11 and 12 years old and preaching on the street corners when I was 13 and preaching in the largest Assembly of God church when I had just turned 14. I mean, I've been at this for a long time. It's not something, I'm not a newbie. I'm not somebody that just heard of this. I'm somebody that was raised on it. I'm somebody that has studied it in great detail. And still, even with all of my study, there were things that I missed. Because I guess you can't see something until you're ready to see it. I guess that's the truth. But then again, I keep asking myself, what is true, really? Truth is not what has been promised. Truth is what we experience. And I get so many of my friends tell me, no, Ron, you've got to believe first. 
You've got to believe and live as if it's actually already happened. Well, maybe some people can do that. I haven't met any of them. I've met people that make the claim, but I haven't met anybody that's actually living free. Now, I do know people that don't have a lot of problems in their life. And you might say, Ron, they're free. Well, are they really? Can anybody be free when the whole world is enslaved? When we live on a planet of lies? When promises are, are multiple and all over the place. We've been promised, promises, promises. Politicians make promises all the time. Do they ever keep them? Very rarely. Almost never. Almost never. Because we live on a planet of lies. We live under a great cloud of deception. What is real? What is real? I was actually born. I have a physical body. See, it, it's solid. Oh, I know, I know. They say it's mostly empty space. Well, I'm sorry. I don't experience it as empty space. I experience it as solid. I don't care about the scientific or religious or spiritual explanations. They are meaningless meaningless and yet most of my life that's where I've placed the meaning and I have not seen the fulfillment of the things that I hoped for and expected to see and participate in in my life I want to see all of the corporate structures brought down they were supposed to serve humanity, not become our slave master. But indeed, they have become our slave master. And we don't even know that we're enslaved. We have the illusion of being free because we don't have chains on us, at least not most of us. Not chains that we can see, but we are bound by invisible chains that are even worse than ones that we could see and touch. We live on a planet that is beautiful, a planet that has great abundance and we are polluting it because our talents, gifts and abilities that were given to us, I believe, in the very beginning of time, whatever that is, the very beginning of creation, they were given to us, but somehow we got lost. They were, the codons were turned off and we live without all of our natural abilities, without our spiritual gifts, because we've been defrauded and deceived by charlatans, by demons. And many people play right along with the game as if that's the way it's supposed to be. For me, it'll never be the way it's supposed to be. But I cannot deny that it is the way it actually is for most of humanity. I long with all of my heart and soul for real change. Not just promises of change, not just promises of a currency revaluation, not just promises of abundance, but the actual experience of heaven on earth. Yes, you may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one, as John Lennon sang. We need our creator to empower us to become what we were created to be. The children of the living God and gods give birth to other gods. Thank you for listening and namaste.